Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Josie Space Cat. I am Josie. Today we are playing the People's Choice game, and that is Mafia. Now, I don't know really anything about this game other than throughout my GTA playthrough life history uh, every now and then someone in the comments will say you need to play Mafia so that's why I put it on the choice on my community page and um, to be honest I'm kind of glad that um, Outlast did not win because yeah Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Today we are playing Mafia Definitive Edition. Um, if you follow me on socials, you'll know that I have just started my Sopranos journey. I Those who want respect, give respect. I've never seen the series. So my personality is all things Mafia right now. So I'm super excited to play this game. Uh, like I said, I know nothing about it. I don't know if it's based on real people or if it's all fictional or if there'll be like Easter eggs from kind of different Mafia movies. I have no idea. Uh, my knowledge on Mafia is pretty small. Uh, I have seen all of the Godfathers, but a very long time ago. Like obviously I remember pivotal moments like horses heads and all of that malarkey but I think I might have to re-watch if there are easter eggs in the game but I'm sure you guys will let me know um so yeah without further ado let's play Mafia oh wow beautiful Nineteen thirties had like such a good sense of style, like it's so fresh. Those cars, just stunning, so beautiful. I'd love to have a classic car. Tommy, Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. 
So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you call the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. This is pretty tense. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. But, yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. I'm hooked, guys. I want to know more. Grace, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. <laughs> I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. Isn't that good, Father? That is Godfather. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts. When I first met Polly and Sam. It's gonna be driving in this, isn't there? Getting a crash course in driving right now. Anywhere. Fast. Yep. I got a gun pointed at you. They catch up, we're dead. But you don't get to walk away. This car is any trouble. actually very well, slow trouble. compared Drive. to GTA cars. How the hell they know we'd be there? It doesn't matter now. We just gotta lose them. Uh, how many cars we got following? One for now. Uh, but can we go over this? Hold tight. I'm gonna try something. Oh, I was I was literally just gonna go for Who that where they crashed. You don't get to ask questions. We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Okay. Your leg okay up there. Oh shit. Hurts like hell. What am I? I need to turn around. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know. It might be okay. How do just I get a call anyways? Hey, I see you listening, cabbie. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. Okay. 
So I'm used to the minimap being on the other side from GTA, so this is going to be really awkward. Okay. Also, I need to remember to <laughs> drive on the right side of the road. But like I said, the uh, the cars don't skid as much as they do on GTA. So, so far, so good. Hey, Cabby! Over the Giuliani Bridge to Central Island! You, you got a death wish or something? Yeah. <laughs> that just happened. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. So far, so good. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. More of them. Ah, shit! So far, it is like GTA in the 30s. <gasps> You're in my sight. <sighs> Ooh, I like that. I know some shortcuts that'll slow him down. I don't care how you do it. Just shake them off. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's very confusing when it goes into a cutscene that like that. That was your shortcut. I lost him, didn't I? <gasps> Not all of them. Okay, okay, okay. These guys really don't like you, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Go. Okay. More he knows. Here we go another more chance of him not seeing shortcut. the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Any more? You left them in the dirt. We ain't clear yet. Keep driving. Poor bastards digging the road for the works program aren't gonna thank us for this. Three crates down. How many motors were at the exchange? We go down here. Four. Five, maybe. Oh, you know oh. when him, he's called for more. Sure feels ah, like shit. it. Ah, shit! Next time, of course. we take more muscle. Of course. Sure they must have sent word out. Here we go. There's more and more of about this, they'll be We're not going to last long unless we're back on our own turf. Why didn't it Let's do the... to the neighborhood. It didn't do the thing. Uh, it didn't do the shortcut. Oh, okay, I need to... I think I missed what they were saying. We need to go. West Harbor oh, the, just follow the red line. Jesus, we got these guys real pissed. Yeah, he was down to my bad driving, to be honest. Excuse me. Uh, the bridge is up, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. <laughs> we can make it. I think the game is being a bit gentle with me as its first mish, but. There we go. Oh my god, is that... Are we, doing? Are we jumping? Just sit tight and pray. We jump in. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now. Your night's not over. Oh my word. So... I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Not as smooth as I would have liked to have gone, but here we are. Here we are. Oh, okay, nice and quiet. Again, I will never drive on the right side of the road. Okay, we're feels close. weird. Oh, pull over in front of that bar. Silieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not? I think we just got a job. Are we now a getaway driver? <sighs> we best get paid, because I royally effed up my, my taxi. He seems very chill after everything that's just happened. Epic slow mo.
Compensation for your services. Any damage to your cup. <laughs> this makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. He's got a job. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you want it at poker. The scratches on your car. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? What about the bullet holes in the back? <laughs> See you around. Bad case of woodworm. Metal worm. Wow, what a start. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. I was out. After that night with Celieri's guys, I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. So maybe a bit boring? And other people's thoughts too. No adrenaline. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Right? Always driving. Oh no, she's gonna be really rude to me. So where to? St. Michael's Church, directly. I mean, I don't think I've ever driven careful, please. anywhere directly. I always oh, drive careful. <laughs> then you'd be the first. Do I have to watch out for cars? Is that why it's showing me a car on the right? Oh, it, that's a cop car. Okay. That brings... Turn that racket off. I can't hear myself think. She's so rude. Can we turn it up? That's much better. She better tip me. So, church. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. I miss Trevor. <gasps> <laughs> My word. Okay. Let's get her with there in one piece, and then she better tip me. Just take a shortcut. She didn't even notice. Oh. Small scratch. Wow, is that the church? It's huge. That's what she said. Oh, God, let's not go into the back of a Stop tr there. By the park. tram. <laughs> oh, my God. <gasps> okay. Let's we'll stop here. here Get you out. St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. So cheap. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure. Whatever you say. Don't let her get away with that. She, she better pay. These Italians are all the same. Can I run her over? Can't drive without the radio. You better find it. Whoopsie. No. She deserved it, though. She totally had it coming. What up, Yarch? Get out of my car. Oh, she's already out. Should we get out? Oh, return to taxi. Whoops. What is that noise? Who 
department has a vast range of styles to suit your particular taste, including pieces imported from Italy, France, and Great Britain. Just gotta go around, and search now, the streets. WBDS, broadcasting live from Behringer's department I guess store. it's good to know where you are. I want to turn the radio off because... My god, I do not need another playthrough that is just copy written all the way through. Oh, wait. What is. Just driving straight into cars. The crashes aren't as epic as GTA, but they're still pretty fun. What is this? Is this like a side mission? Oh, okay. We are actually playing Taxi Sim. Get in. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. This one better pay me. Otherwise, how am I meant to make any money? Art gallery. Give me there quick. Oh. Sure. Quick I can do. Quick I can do. Taking some time out. What's it to you? Not much. Just... Just conversating. Talking. I'm paying you to drive. So do that. My God. Oh, I've got a timer on me. Shit. Look at him out there. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. Why is everyone so it? stressed in this You're town? A busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Sold up before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a colleague. Not that it's anything to do with you. 60 miles an hour, guys. Job, we are maybe flying. You understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Okay. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna make it. Maybe, oh, maybe we will, maybe we will. I just gotta not. <gasps> uh, fuck it up and go down the wrong road. What? An absolute plank. 14 seconds. 14 seconds. Come on. Pull up in front of the gallery. We did it, right? That's it. Did I get it? Oh no. I don't think I did it because I didn't go in the parking space. Thanks, pal. There's 50 cents. I don't spend it all at once. Did I do I'll it? I'll try not to. I don't know if I did it or not. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. Damn right they have. Under the next. Oh, here's the next one. Hopefully it's not a timed one. Hey, over here. Sup? Oh, I see there's parking bays. That's what I've got to look for. Okay, okay. Nicely done. I'm used to like looking for chevrons and stuff. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Booze. Figures. Booze. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Is this guy going to be sick in my cab? Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Oh my god, how am I meant to any get any good fares today? Yeah, some. He's actually quite but chatty. never enough of them. Who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and oh all God. that shit, I guess. <laughs> Only reason I got you taking me places is I am drunk and don't know better. Come see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. This guy yeah, but Wait, I've what? seen go after guys for less. Why have I got stars yeah, after so, me? If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. What did I do? Mm. This city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. I don't want to pay the fine. Can we just run away from it? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna not pay the fine. I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> all officers, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Losers. <laughs> that was only one star, and they weren't even really looking for me. I can't wait to, like, get a few more stars just to see how intense the chase actually is. Nearly there. Just here up here on, on the corner, please. Extra. 
Oh, over, overcompensated. There we go. Done. Hey, my cousin has a coffee stand around the corner. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, <laughs> huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Might just do that. But I would like to also to be paid actual money. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Oh, Morello. So you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much walking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. <gasps> oh! How do I run? Let's go! <laughs> Dude, we need to sprint! Oh, shit. Go! Oh no. This is very counterintuitive. Here we go, here we go. Up and over, up and over. Oh. I don't want to die. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. Look at this. Yes, we ran to the right people. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just... Trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I can tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. I want that gun. Okay, then. When do I See get that boys gun? Around. Go, Lou. <laughs> Let's go, Lou. <laughs> I want a shotgun. Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. The Don. He's going to want to hear about this. They give me Molotovs. What do they call you, son? Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh... Taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. Well, I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. 
There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. So smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Exciting. No one else knows you here, so tread careful, okay? Sure. Sure. Okay, look around Who's the, the new bar. Guy? Cabby. We're helping him out. He's gonna drive the bar? Nah, you got some kind of problem? Got some kind of problem? Yes. I hate sitting around. What is this? Good with Paul. Are we allowed to look at this? Don Salieri, I am writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It will be a wonderful day. And for the world to see that the occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend, Giovanni Romano. I don't think we've met anything good. Giovanni, yeah, I, yet. I don't get I'm watching you. Polly. Got it? What do you think I, gotta I do get it. We should not have read that. That was somebody's private letter. Can we play pool? I'm bad at pool. Um, join poorly. Can we? I didn't have a look around the bar yet. I've got to say, the whole look of this game so far is just... It's got that really nice smoky vibe about it, which is 100% gangster. Oh, look. There's... Read the newspaper. September 23rd, 1930. Prohibition here to stay. Production and sale of alcohol to remain illegal. In a speech to gathered press, President Herbert Hoover reiterated today that the noble experiment of prohibition will remain in place. Forced to respond to Democrat criticism, Hoover also promised a more efficient and better funded Prohibition Bureau to prevent profiteering and smuggling. My God, what a time to be alive. What is this? <gasps> oh, family history. I get to collect, collect smoking cards. So Red Dead. Oh, talking of Red Dead, Frank, the older dude who was standing next to the Don, from first impressions, he had a real Hosea uh, vibe about him. Maybe it's just because he was like an older gentleman that looked after the main dude, but do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loud mouth, but Frank and the Don have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any uh, heavy lifting. He make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. I think I like this Vinny already. The world in this is, as I said before, is so well designed. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the oh. trick. <laughs> oh! I mean, it will do, but it's... For use. A little less exciting. A few cocktails here. Now we're talking. Aye, aye, aye. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Todd. Let what? me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Oh, can I? I'm really sorry to. Can I come past? I've just seen something. Come back and see me later if the boys don't scare you away. There's something over there, I'll though. You with a gat. I can't climb over. Can you please move? But nothing leaves the room. Can you see that? I want that. That looks like a comic and a collectible. 
<laughs> Brilliant. Uh, right, Ralph let's go, mate. In the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets interest of her, but I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. <laughs> black magic. Oh. Now these are beautiful cars. What are we doing? <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Hey, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. I feel like Tommy poor old Ralph. Good to meet you. He's a little bit bullied. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across to, to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. Of course I am. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. <gasps> I don't know what he's Ralph's gonna be to like pull, giving us this motor. Um, I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. Um, if I know Ralph, he probably got it taken suspects. out of our yard. Yeah, the car's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Stick a tin can. So, uh, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep, new supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. But we're okay. So long as we're careful, keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but Ugh. not so much now. Bathtub that stuff's gin no good for is you. rank. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. But it's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble, says the guy who's about to set fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got you to this is starting something It'll for sure. Fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. We'll do that. We'll do that. We can do hitting hard. Oh my god, everyone's driving so slow. And I'm not paying attention. This is fine. These cars handle better than GTA, I've got to say. Get on to Morello's turf now. <laughs> My driving is not great, though. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though, in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, we are nearly there. Just gotta find my little parking space. Okay, it's close by. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even need to park. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no name schmuck. <laughs> no on, name over schmuck. Here. Gotta sneak okay. in and wreck the cars. Lounge bar. And a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. 
I kind of like having the backup, to be honest. Okay. You go quiet. You know how to go quiet, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there some. Where are those bad guys? Can't... Oh, there they are. Okay. <gasps> what do you wait for me? No one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. <laughs> no one sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. I'm real good at distracting. It's my best thing. Actually, careful. I get the money on that. Ah, uh, he's good for it. Do I keep on going? Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I mean what I say. How do I vote over? What the hell are you doing back there? What? Oh, ladder. How do I go down? Look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Salieri's got guys all over town trying to give Morello a black eye. And Dino makes you card the cars? Like, there was this one time when I had a chance to yeah. Sneaky, sneaky. Pick up, buddy. Are we putting you in the trash? I got very excited and spat. <laughs> so let's get to these cars. Okay. Ah. Um, wait, should we put him down? How do I put him down? Oh, drop body. There you go. Use the bat, Tom. Uh, oh one. <gasps> ah, okay. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay. Come on, hey. Tom. <laughs> We're up against it here. No one's driving. Ah <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing much. Hey, get away from the car! Get Knock it down, Tommy! You got some kind of death wish? Hey! Putting you down! How do I? I need to get out of this. Wait! Hey. Got him. It wasn't really giving me much of an opportunity for a. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. That'll do. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Me too, mate. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, let's try that. Take it back there. <clears throat> heard that. Whole block heard that. <laughs> we gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car? I'm gonna know where <gasps> to keep it. Oh, take it. burning vehicles and gold fire in North Park. Take... Nice. Still can't. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Ways are the best ways. How do we get out? Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bulls show. They're shooting. Who let him get away? Come Come back, back, you bastards. Oh wow, they. S oh, two oh, stars. Shit. Okay. We got cops. So uh, what do we do? You lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Oh, whoops. That did not go as planned. Maybe I wasn't driving fast enough for the ramp. Over the bridge. Have I lost them already? I can't even see them on my mini map. Oh no, yes I can. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him We're good. Time. Let's head back and see the boss. I Easy. thought Silly had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. I am. Um, I'm pretty sure that once things ramp up a bit, how did feel? Feel these good? Chases will get I a lot harder. Feel. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking <gasps> questions. Is that a biker? I like asking questions. 
I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Yeah. Your brother or your uncle or... Uh, <laughs> be careful, we don't need the attention. Uh, whoops. Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. But there's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. <laughs> I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Here we go. Okay, that was very successful. Uh, let's get out of the car. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Oh. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. It was trash. A, a better car with a, a broken window? That one is better. Can we have a look Fresh around here? Never killed nobody. I want my pickups. There's bound to be something in here. I am going to follow Paulie, but just... Give me a sec. See, I knew it. I knew it. Anything else? This, what is a picture of? Is that Paulie and his mum? Oh, me and mum. Not Paulie. Um, what's his name? Ralph? <laughs> That's not his name, is it? <laughs> what's his name? I can't remember his name. I only met him like five minutes ago. But in fairness, we've met everybody about five minutes ago. Right, let's go back to the dawn. Thank you for waiting. I was just reading comics and looking at other people's private shit. Hey boss, I done good. You still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Can I make sure you sneak that? No. Hey, boss. Oh. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands. Make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam I'm in the family. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. 
All these guys in this room. Loyal. They're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. Loyalty. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. Don Celieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. I'm in the family. He seems like a really... Excellent. Like... No, I'm starving. What's Luigi. the word I'm looking for? Let's see. Welcome. A barman Luigi <sighs> is not much of a cook. But his daughter Sarah, Maron. Like, his rules and everything. Like, no swearing, no dope. Like, he's very smart. But I feel... Wholesome isn't the right word. Moralistic, maybe? Yeah, I need to I need to think of the proper word to describe how I'm feeling, and I can't think about it right now, but I like this guy. For Mafia, he seemed seems like um like a good Don, you know? Sort of Don I'd want to work for if I were to work for the Mafia. <laughs> Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> but what did I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Come on, there's still a guy yeah. Get him back. Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Boss is waiting for me? Oh, I can run now. Thank God. Or oh, gentle jog. Do I need to knock? I feel like I need to knock. I shouldn't just open a door. Oh, okay. I thought it was... <laughs> there he is. Yes. Sorry I'm late. Here I am. Take a seat. Sorry I'm late? I only just got told. <laughs> and it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. We are representing. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ralphie. It was Ralph. Whenever uh, I think of Ralph, though. He's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. <gasps> Give me a gun. A bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Um, the reason I double guessed myself on Ralph is the first thing that comes to my head when I think about Ralph is Ralph Wiggum. <laughs> I can't not think of anything else. Hey, just the guy. Hey, just the I guy. Saw this. Give me a gun. And I thought of you. <gasps> it's not a Tommy gun, but we'll take it. Yeah. You take carry the rat. Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Ah. Uh, how do I put Good posture, real mean. Now, bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a reload. What is reload? Ah. Oh. I opened the chamber and away you go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. All right. Last thing needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. How do I get it out again? Starts. Get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss is Vincenzo. To you, it's Finny. So, don't shoot yourself. I think he was talking to me personally, because if you watch my playthroughs, you know that I am a panicker. 
when it comes to any kind of combat. I'm gonna take your. You should have seen the way we muscled in on Lost Heaven back in the day, Tommy. <laughs> back in the day. How do I get my gun out though? Maybe I'm not allowed to. All the family working together. Cool story, bro. I, I need to go. I've got a job. I'm busy. Let me out. This guy won't shut up. We love you, Vinny, though. You're going to be a firm, firm friend because I need you weapons. Need to be careful today, okay? I spoke to Biff. He said Ralphie! My cat's breath smells of cat food. You know how to get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And in the afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. <gasps> and... Lock picking. Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Yeah, let's keep Ralphie on our side. I feel like he may go full... Is it Kaze? Suze? I can never... Kaze... Do it. Okay, it's good car. You got it. Nice. Get in, lads. Have a good day, for fellas. Oh, I like Ralphie. First, we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again. Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. Do we like Al? Oh my God. I'm so sorry that I have to turn the radio off, guys. Um, copyright claims are crippling my channel right now. It's insane. Between Batman and GTA, everything has been copywritten. <laughs> it hurts my heart. Uh, so it said you just have to listen to me, Rabbit, on all these guys. Okay. Baby's first collection. Here we go. I'm not meant okay, to beat people up. This is it. I need to remember that. You're cool. Watch You're what we calm. do today, Tom. We are collected. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Cool. Get out the car. I'm pushing the wrong button. Get out the car. <laughs> I've got a kind of Indiana Jonesy look about me. I think it's my jacket and hat that is um making it. Oh. Okay, get yeah, you go first. Uh, Sam, Polly. How are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. You read this? Oh, good to hear, uh... Dear Mr. Bertarelli, This letter is notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loans. This amount has been overdue since July 15th, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process on your home and business. Please act accordingly. Christopher Marcino, manager, Grand Imperial Bank. This, this guy's in debt. Man. Now he's got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I... I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but Ooh. it's good you I'm just, just going to take your trading cards? You That'll do as payment. Oh, they're so cool. It's at the back of the shop, Tom. Yep. Where's the money? Veron, fetcha. Voice succhiate il sangue. It's on the table, brown envelope. Got it. It's an angry woman. Via di qui. Not even looking at me when she talks to me. Okay, let's just get out of here. I'm more scared of her than I am. Let us know if you need anything, anything at all. Sure will, Sam. He probably needs an extension on his loan. To be fair. Give your best to your ma. She ain't having any of it at all. Okay, so that collection went quite well. Nice and smooth. No arguments. And, um, oh my god, take your time. We got a, um, cigarette card. Uh, on to the next. Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. 
Heard his nephew's taking over. Oh, I feel like this one's going to be trouble. The nephew's not going to know the rules. Guy used to run this next place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. Guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> My God. Yeah, it was hilarious. He's an old man. After that, no problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Holy, I know we're mafiosa, we but... We keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, <gasps> not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded, too. Yeah. Am I going to have to hit him with the bat? Wee, okay. Cool, look, 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 look. This is awesome. I love this. I can't wait to see, like, how interactable the, the surroundings are. Like, can we go in these buildings? I need to look where I'm going. <laughs> This is it. Please don't be trouble. Please don't be trouble. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. Can we get out? He's doing the store on his own. Yeah, when Polly's built up a little steam, he needs to let it out on his own. Oh no! Just gotta let him get on with it. It's don't, his way. Don't beat the old man up. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Yeah, Eugene's nephew ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once we were putting a squeeze on this tailor over in Holbrook, guy ended up in a wheelchair. Sounds like Paulie from The Sopranos, who incidentally is one of my favorite characters so far in Sopranos. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. <laughs> no sheet. Let's get right out of here. Before the cop show, Tom. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Oh my, when will he be back on his feet? Paulie, well, what did you do? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all? No. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you ought to... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, huh? Well, I'd say sorry if I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> <laughs> I could smell the crap in your pants from here. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when you got Tony me. When first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. Stunning. Jesus, I hate it out of the city. You hate it most places. Yeah, but out here it's worse. How come there's a place so far out of town on our books? Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place for most of the things we do. We're expecting a big bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes, the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently, the motels had a new lease of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far? Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so expensive. Bill's motel has gotten to be the place where crates get exchanged. Salieri protects it, but he lets the other families use it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus, it's far enough away that no one cares. 
So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. Interesting. Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? <laughs> you not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Oh, Polly. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit, and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do all the jobs that Polly hates. Well, happy to a blood. Okay. There it is. Finally. I like it out here. It feels like fresh. Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Wait, do I not get to go in? I want to go in. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. You're smoking near, uh, like, gas pumps. Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back. No You'll capiche. End up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. I've got to get, get him out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. All right, wait a minute. Um, find a way into the motel. Okay. Can we go up? Who wrecked the motors? Give me a name. <laughs> Can't climb up there. Herbert. Come on. I know it was you or one of your freaks up there. Give me a name. And maybe take it from here to you. Then I use Other guys get all the best jobs. Sick of being out of here. Other guys get sent to guard the cat house. Where is he? Um, I feel like I should pick up your body and just freaking hide it somewhere. I don't know if I need to do this, but. I feel like for good housekeeping, I should just chuck you there. Can we go in here? No, it's locked. How do I get up? And I feel like I need to go up here. We go up again. I'm scared. Can I? I can't get up. Get, get in. Why can't I? Oh, maybe it's this way. Is someone having a shit? Just a few more hours and I can go home. Next time, he gets the bullshit guard duties. Can you hear that? Anything in here? No, it's buckle. Just want to have a little look around, guys. See. Can I take? 
take that gun? Is it L1 to switch guns quickly? Uh, we're definitely starting with the shotgun. God, this is so cool. I'm so nervous. Gonna right in. Is that that's not zero point? Okay. You... Are they coming up? I don't like that they're not. There they are. Come here. Come up the stairs. Here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> You've got a bat. This is very exciting. Hey. How do I reload? Oh, wait, wait, I want to go in here. There is nothing in here. Bring prosperity. Elect Roberto Galotti for City Council, 1930, a trusted figure in Lost Heaven. Owner of boatyards and industry, employer to thousands, dutiful father and husband. Where is he? Got him. What is this? I'm a little bit scared. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Yeah, we got them all. Right, let's just have a... Oh, let's, um... Sam. Got him. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Come on, you'll be all right. Your toughest nails. Ah! Can we just shoot him in the face? Oh shit! Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard! But your friends are dying. Where is Sam? He's okay. Inside. And go get the money. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why is my car so slow? Wait, wrong car. Why am I focusing on the wrong car? Nice. Oh my God. Oh my god, don't crash. What did I just say? 
Oh, um, can we? Oh no, no! <laughs> what do I do? Flip car. No, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming. I didn't see how to flip my car. I've lost him. Shit. Okay, we've definitely got it this time. Now I, like, I didn't see that there was an option to flip a vehicle. I thought it was like a GTA kind of situation. Nice. You heard it? Away. Oh, no, no. It's not crash. Are we going to get him? <gasps> yes. Do we get out? to be on the inside <laughs> what do we do i should have took off there and then how do i search for the wreck but i couldn't go back oh. to being a nobody it's doing it automatically i thought i had to do something hey so that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight is it pretty Just much don't look it didn't feel that way at the time me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money lording it over the rest of us yeah it wasn't like that back then Celieri didn't have the run of the city for every buck Celieri made don morello would turn 10. he paid off cops politicians judges and anyone he couldn't buy he scared into looking the other way he did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow i'll give you that you hear anything about joey crackers yeah got his name in the morello file sure boxer right yeah that's the guy the way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Oh. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, shit. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grizzle little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin. I got. <gasps> oh, I think he's dead. Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. 
I'm throwing square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We are running booze, out for protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some no. money on the, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to cow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and we'll make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. <laughs> this European's gonna die. <laughs> Okay, guys, that is the end of this episode. And what an episode. I am really enjoying it so far. Um, it is a slightly older game, so we have to give it some allowances, I believe, but not as many as I thought I was going to have to. Like, it, it runs really smooth. The story is interesting. I'm really enjoying the characters. Um, I love our Don. Like, he seems very smart, very business savvy fair like i know he's mafia and he's a bad person but as far as what i know mafia people to be like he seems like the right side to be on the morellos i think they're called is that right the Mor the other guys seem dodgy as heck and a bit feisty and a bit feral is the word i'm looking for feral so yeah i think we're definitely on the right side so far um i'm really intrigued to see how the story goes and how we end up on the wrong side of don because everything seems to be going quite smoothly so far but yeah i'm, I'm very excited to see how the story pans out guys if you enjoyed this episode please feel free to give a like say hi in the comments or you could even subscribe because that really helps out my channel don't forget to check the links in the description for throwing gifting patreon discord and all of my social medias where i'm pretty funny so go give me a follow guys i hope you're having a cracking day and i will see you in the next episode <laughs>